Okay, welcome to part three of the DNT Therm Night Scope. Um, this is the ballistics calculator video, and we're gonna looks pretty complicated, but uh, when you get down to it, it really isn't quite as bad as you think. So we're just gonna start off with a few things, looking around and going over some of the scope. Um, you can set the temperature outside, the humidity level, and uh, the barometric pressure. And again, all that affects the trajectory of a bullet. In my case, I'm shooting a 22 pellet in 30 yards. Uh, it, it, not, not much of that's really gonna affect me. What will affect me would be the wind speed down here. If, uh, if it's fairly windy, uh, the wind speed will affect my bullet in those short as a short of distance. Um, we come here, the, the calculations take into all these numbers and send it to the scope. So right here, I've got it set for 28 yards. The scope height, which is the uh, distance from the projectile to the center of the day night uh, portion of the scope is about two and a half inches. I have a 24 inch barrel and it, there's a one uh, twist. It twists one time. I'm shooting in normal about uh, eight to eight to seven to 800 feet per second. I'm shooting a 22 caliber. It weighs 14.3 grains. The length of it is just over a quarter of an inch. And uh, the ballistics coefficient, I get this off the app. The, the app itself has this information and it puts it in there. Again, my target is setting at 28 yards. Uh, I'm shooting at a zero angle. It's so, it's so flat right here. I don't worry about it. I put in for a zero wind speed and the angle is zero. Again, this is the MRAD and the MOA. Um, I'm not a, a, a genius on that. I don't use it. So you can go into, with this information here, you can go to the ballistics table, and this will tell you uh, at, I shoot 30 yards, so if I was using all the information, I'd use one click. It's down about seven tenths of uh, seven one hundredths of an inch. Uh, the speed lowered down. It has 14, 15 point four uh, joules of energy, and it should take uh, you know point one four of a second to get from my gun to the uh, object that I'm trying to hit. You go down to a hundred yards. It's two clicks and you can see it'll take a half a second to get there. There's, there it, you lost almost half the, the energy of it. It's going pretty slow. So this is just for plinking cans with my situation. Going back, if we go to um, the distance here, um, we can go in and we can set any of these distances we want. This is the gun information and this here is the bullet information. Now, in my case, I was telling you I was shooting Premier's hollow points. They're uh, 22 caliber and they're 14.3 grains. You can come here and at the top, I can go cartridges, G1, G7, or pellets. Um, let's, uh, for an example, let's just shoot a, uh, 22 caliber uh, let's go to so it's a uh, caliber we want to go let's try to find 22s did I pass it up probably there we go 22 hornets shorts yeah 22 short fine a 22 short and hit OK. It gives you all the specifications there. If you like it, you just tap it, 
add the ammunition and boom it's there it now changed all my information to now be able to shoot a shoot that i can hit save so once you're here and you now have the new information for the new dimension of the the, the bullet you can see feet per second changed uh my my uh the grains changed and all that kind of stuff. Go to the ballistics table. You'll see that all this information's here. And just by going, hitting the, well, here we'll go straight across the top. This is if you want to export that. If you would like to print this out, put a little cheat sheet um, for, your, for yourself so that you could say, okay, at 100 yards, I know I have to do one click and this is the amount of energy I'm gonna have. To send it to the gun, just do that. It's a little paper airplane. It's sending it to the gun. So now all that information is in my gun right now. So if I try to use the gun with the ballistics calculator, it's going to try to use this information instead of my pellet information. And the settings over here, again, you can go here and go yards, feet per second, um, starting distance of the um, chart there if you're out uh, shooting prairie dogs you can go 600 yards and save it and now you have a chart that you could print out that if you look goes all the way down to 600 yards put that back to 100 yards for me save that and you can see that saves if you want to know the bullet velocity or the energy of the time you don't want those in the columns you could take those off hit save and you notice you just have a real short little table clicks and inches and you're off to the races put those back on there they are um, again if the if you know the clicks and the inches and the moas and all that uh leave a comment <laughs> tell me how to use it uh, but I don't use them on my pellet gun but they're there if you need them so let's go back save that oh. cancel go back to the ballistics calculator come here go here I want pellets. Do a search for crossmen. There's crossmen's, and let's go with 22 and good enough now. Pointed, pointed, match 22 cal. And I'll just take this, hit OK. There's all my information back again. Save go back to the ballistic calculator and send that to my scope as it's doing that it's updated so it's not real um, for me and I think most people that buy this scope I don't know how much you're gonna be changing this but again you can come here you could set different uh, bullet types so right now I could set this for uh, my crossman. I could set up another one for my H and N's. So I just come here, send, uh, pick the H and N's, send that ballistics to the scope, and I'd be off to the races. So it's that's about it. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the in the comments. Uh, I'll, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, if I don't know the answer, I will again call the company, DTN, and they will be uh, more than happy to <laughs> get you the answer. If you'd like to see anything else, be sure to leave that in the comments. And like always, comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.